Welcome back to the channel everyone. Back on home turf, back on the boat. There's been a few modifications since I've last been on or you've last seen it probably. So I'll run you through them. We have got now a completely sealed flat deck. So that all got ripped out, re glass, looking pretty smart. A couple of nice handrails on the side. Completely new helm, nice center console. Um, new bit of nav system. So yeah, way, way more user friendly. Cuddy's much more accessible. Yeah, looking a lot smarter. Still got the old two banger at the back, which is causing a bit of, a bit of grief. Takes a bit of warming up. But yeah, beautiful morning out here. We're gonna go see if we can't catch the bass or two, maybe. Get out there. Might just have a little flick around here. See if there's anything going on. Yeah, the old mariner isn't singing too sweetly. I don't know what's quite up there, but she doesn't sound too happy. There we go. Five meters. For round two this morning the trip on the weekend that didn't go quite to plan so we're gonna have another crack at it this morning and see if we can do any better got the old man with me today so two rods in the water rather than one two lines in the water yeah so we'll see beautiful morning again as it always is That's decent. That's decent. Get the net. Wait, wait, wait. Calm down. That does. Come on. Yeah. Oh, beauty. Yes.
I don't think it's a whopper. Take your time, Take your enjoy. Time, yeah, and just don't keep your off the bike. Should have plotted it. Oh, well, we know where we are. Hold up, I'm not ready. Oh, Ooh, break. Yeah. Well done, that boy. Have a bass, though. You! Hang on, I'll take. Right, that's it. There we go. We'll release him. Oh, oh, oh. This is a fish that's in the line. There it is, that's a little hot dog. It's only a school. Get it out of the net as quick as you can. Okay. Oh. I've still got my hook. Hey? My hook's gone. Oh shit, yeah it does. Oh, system failures. Look, look! Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn the hook. Turn the hook off. There's the hook. And there's your hot dog. There you that's go. Little fella. At least I've had a fish. That's a decent one, though. That's a good yeah. sound. Look at that, isn't it? There he is. <laughs> oh. Gently. Spat it out. Oh, Louie, you haven't. No, but look at that. Look at, look at the state of that. <laughs> Oh! He's on. You bastard. <laughs> yes! I've got it on. Come on, it's tiny, it's a little schoolie. Yeah, it's just a schoolie, so I don't really know. I'm not playing anymore. I'm not playing this game anymore. I can see it, I can see it there, look. This law's a killer, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, look at him! He's... Oh! You're playing it all wrong. You're just putting too much pressure on it. I was keeping him tight. <sighs> right, well, we have got sea bass catch and cook on the coals caught yesterday would have liked to have done this last night but couldn't have scale it gut it and then we're gonna have it whole over the coals here it should be pretty good ginger and spring onion is how we're gonna dress it and then we've got some jersey royals and some local veg so yeah it should be good get this lighted and i can start Prepping the fish. All right, so here's the fish. We're going to scale it outside because it causes an absolute mess. So I could do with that indoors and we'll probably mow the lawn tomorrow, which will clean all the scales up. But before we get started, let's do a quick measurement. I know it's not an absolute monster, but let's just see. So it's about 49 and a half centimeters, so just shy of 50. So not an absolute monster, but pretty decent, decent fish. Well within the legal size, which is 42, so we're safe there. So yeah, let's scale it. And all I'm gonna use is a butter knife. So that's the only tool you should need. Start at the tail. that easy just come straight up I 
as you can see, it goes everywhere. So, hence why we're doing it outside, not in the kitchen. Some bits are a little more stubborn than others. You just gotta go over it a couple times and watch out for the spikes along the fins, which we'll probably cut off. feel how nice and smooth it is it's so so obvious when there's some scales on and when they're not and we've got a basin of water here just to give it a bit of a rinse and you can see if there's any bits you've missed but I think that looks pretty good it's mostly off it's on the scale bass hello Vila put your fingers all right, so it's all scaled. Now we'll just fill it. Not fill it, gut it, I mean. We're gonna cook it whole as it is. Pull out all of those innards. We might be able to see inside its stomach. This is little heart. It's pretty clean in there. Good to rinse again. And then my last thing to do is just snip off these fins nice and tight. Alright, so probably use about that much maybe. Three slits in each side, one there, one there, I lied, let's do four, one there, and one there. We'll go one ginger in each slit, that looks pretty good, if we've got any left over, which I think we will. We might put a bit more in this spring onion. Probably could have cut that a little finer. I'll ram a load up in its belly though. Some nice sea salt too. A little bit of olive oil might stop it sticking. With the kind of griddle we're going to put it in. All right. So this is what it's going to go inside, and then we're just going to bang that straight over the top. Easy as. like that just about fits how good does that look all right just like that all right let's see how we're looking here if you could smell what I can smell oh that is uh oh <sighs> look at that skin's gonna be so good I'm gonna give him one more flip and then I reckon we're good. Yeah, that's all cooked. Hopefully I haven't insulted any chefs out there that might be watching. Um, yeah, otherwise I'll just stick to the stick to the fish and I think. So 
So my little sous chef, aka my mum, has made a little sauce that we're going to drizzle over the bass, which is spring onion, tamarind, sesame oil, and maple syrup. And honestly, this tastes so good. That is the finished product right there. It's looking good. Right, this is the taste test. Excuse my fingers. Yeah, it's good. I knew it would be. Oh, it's really nice. I don't think there's enough, like, kind of ginger flavour from that bit I have. Jersey asparagus, Jersey royals, and Jersey sea bass. Yeah, covered in Jersey butter too. So this is with the um, tamarind, sesame oil, spring onion, and what, maple syrup. Yeah. yeah, but, well, I'll probably put a bit too much on, but you don't really taste the kind of fish when it's drowned. So that's all that's left. Three people that we fed out of that one fish, which is pretty good. That's it. 